Hey, what is going on, everyone? Thanks so much for watching Citizen Pete. Uh, do me a favor, like and subscribe to this channel, especially if you just found me, if you just found Citizen Pete. Uh, you know, YouTube's doing a lot of stuff with their algorithm to kind of stop independent media from being um, being recommended with other, other channels and stuff. So uh, I really appreciate it. If you, if you like the channel, comment on the video, uh, maybe share the channel, and uh, subscribe. Yeah, that, that would really help me out a lot. So that crazy, crazy old Mitch McConnell, and you, know, you gotta hand it to him. If Democrats were, you know, just half as ruthless or cutthroat as as he is, they would have passed minimum wage a decade ago. And so, Moscow Mitch heard about the Democrats' plan to deal, ditch the uh, filibuster, and he's got a little plan of your, of his own. Now, in case you, uh, well, you know, real quickly, in case you missed your social studies lesson, the filibuster is a way for the minority party to block the majority from passing legislation. Think of it this way. You're at a bar, and you meet this fine woman, or man, or, you know, whatever pronouns you prefer. This channel is LGBTQ friendly. Okay, so you're at the bar, and, you know, you find someone you're interested in, but before you can close the deal, your friend comes and gets in the way and cock blocks you. Well, that's the filibuster. Probably not the explanation you heard back in school, but uh, essentially it's a cock block on Congress. And so now Democrats are working uh, on a way to get rid of the filibuster so they can pass their Joe Biden's agenda. Um, a lot of things Joe Biden wants to do, uh, minimum wage increase, uh, infrastructure plans. Uh, I recently saw in an article that he wants to dedicate five five trillion dollars to a reimagining of america and uh yeah uh, democrats probably aren't signed up for that but good old mitch mcconnell he's got a plan he's going to make the senate a living hell if democrats get rid of the fil filibuster uh, according to axios he's going to start requiring in-person votes for everything the senate does you see most of the time senators actually have a pretty cushy pretty cushy lives they don't have to actually go to the Senate for a lot of things because there's so many procedural votes and stuff that doesn't get a whole lot of attention. Well, Mitch McConnell is threatening to require in-person votes for absolutely everything. You know, roll calls for, for simple measures, quorum votes for uh, everything the Senate does, which essentially a quorum vote, it means that everyone has to be there in person, and long-winded debates on everything, the, uh, everything going on in Congress. You know, if you thought C-SPAN was boring before, wait until this shit starts. You know, honestly, I think it's uh, it's hilarious that Mitch McConnell's threat to Democrats to uh, make them, uh, you know, to drop the filibuster uh, threat is to, you know, make them actually do their damn jobs at the Capitol. You know, for me, I think getting rid of the filibuster is a bad but necessary idea. Our country has become so polarized that Congress can't actually get shit done. You know, each state gets two senators, right? Two senators. So California's 40 million people have the same representation in the Senate as North Dakota. And if you include both Dakotas, then uh, actually the couple of hundred thousand folks in the, uh, the Dakotas uh, trump uh, California. It's stupid. Yeah, it doesn't make sense and makes it so our government doesn't actually work. You know, on the other hand, Republicans are probably going to get some big gains in 2022. Uh, it's been a long time since the, uh, the current administration, the folks in power, have actually improved their amount of seats in the midterm elections. So in 2022, we could very realistically see a Republican House or a Republican Senate. And so uh, the shoe will be on the other foot at some point. You know, so getting rid of the filibuster could really bite Democrats in the ass down the road. But on the other hand... If they want to show they deserve to be reelected in the first place, they have to get shit done. They get shit done now. And the only way to do that is by getting rid of the filibuster. You know, again, not sure if that'll happen. Not sure what of the uh, what actual legislative uh, capabilities they have to really get rid of the filibuster. But it's definitely, um, you know, it's it's there's possible. And Camilla Harris and other Democrats could soon be spending a lot more time in the halls of the Capitol if it does. And I, for one, don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. But hey, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think our uh, you think our senators should be forced to be working at the Capitol more often? Uh, do you think they should get rid of the filibuster? Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you 
so much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, maybe the like button, and hey, maybe, maybe just leave a comment. You know, I want to know what you're thinking. What do you think about all politics and news and all the stuff that's going on in our country?